So we're gonna do a fourth a cup. Oh, I guess I've been doing it wrong. I've definitely been putting it in. Uh, a fourth a cup of lemon juice, which is a, probably two lemons, two small lemons. That explains a lot. I've been doing it upside down this whole time. It's probably on the home style of when it was upside down. But I just went ahead and picked it. <laughs> it definitely was upside down when I did the last home style. I think that's uh, quite because this was a uh, really rich like, onion. All right, well, let's, let's blend it and then taste it and see if we can have more. Oh, it's right. Now it smells right, really. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Alright, so let's give it a taste. Give it a taste test. Mmm. Ooh. Yep. That's what I needed. Mm -hmm. Alright, so if you have a really rich lemon, you probably just need one minute. Yeah. Yeah. That's okay, I like citrus. Alright, so the pesto is ready, so now we're going to move to the zucchini noodles. My favorite part. Yeah. Alright, so we got our zucchini ready, and we have our... Mandolin? Mandolin, there we go. So we're just yeah. going to go ahead and style some zucchini using this pre um, some sliced up zucchini. So my sister's going to do it. Hi guys, so what you want to do is long strokes. Um, and you'll get thin, you want it to have as thin as possible, straight strokes so you can have like a long piece. It's gonna like imitate an actual noodle. And I think I'm getting to the point where it's not gonna be good anymore, but I cut my zucchini the wrong way. Um, but if, it, if I had cut it, not cut it in half, it would have been really long like this. Um, and then you'll see it will start to spiral. So we're gonna add some salt. Um, the salt is what pulls the water out. So you want to add salt. A little salty. Um, yeah. And then just be sure to, sorry, just be sure to um, be mindful of when you're seasoning, um, not to over salt because you added salt to the zucchini. Um, so I'm just going to toss it in the salt, uh, just to kind of incorporate the salt on as much as possible. So it's mixed pretty well. So you can use a cheesecloth. Uh, my sister has provided a lovely towel that I can use. Yeah, yeah. It's a kitchen towel. Kitchen towel, and then slowly but surely, you'll start to see the water coming. Um, it's starting to feel like I feel the liquid already. So I'm just going to wait just a few more seconds to see, let the water kind of get more porous and build up onto the towel. And then I'll um, strain it and show you guys. So just give it a few minutes to kind of rest. Hi guys! So it's at like, what, about five minutes, you think? Less than five. And see, it's really starting to get heavy. Um, I hear a lot of water, so I'm gonna just gently squeeze um, to release some of the water. And just be gentle, because um, when you squeeze too much, it does get like mushy. So I just wanna release some of the water. And the towel will absorb a lot of the yeah, water too. And so you notice too, um, once you drain a lot of the water. Um, this could probably drain a little more because I can feel the wetness. Um, see how they're starting to, um, they're, they're starting to curl. Yeah, starting to curl just a little bit. It's not going to be super dramatic, but it will have a nice look to it. So that part's done. So what's next? So now we're going to saute it in the pasta. All right, so the pasta is saute and it looks absolutely delicious. It looks like white noodles. It smells so good. It smells amazing. I like how it's curling. Yeah, it's totally curling up. Yeah. Little spiral noodles, mm -hmm. which is exactly what you want. And we want to cook it just until it's nice and soft and tender, but still has some bite to it. I'm probably ready to take it off. So probably maybe five more minutes. It's already been on their fire so far. So maybe another five minutes on medium heat. And we'll be all ready to eat. All right, so it's actually ready sooner than five more minutes. You only really need it, probably about six, seven minutes to cook it. So let's 
go ahead and plate it. with some pepper flakes for a little spice. I love pepper flakes. And there you have it. Spiral zucchini pesto pasta. Let's give it a taste. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Mm. Delicious. I know this is supposed to be really good. <coughs> I need one more bite. Hey, that's ridiculous. <laughs> that was so good. I just said I hope you really like it. <clears throat> okay, so that concludes my video. Please like and subscribe, especially if you want to see me come back and make my vegetarian recipe. And if you already subscribed, please click on that bell icon so you can get notifications of my next video. Uh, well, I'll see you later. Happy holidays. Bye. Like and subscribe.